Okay. Should by now have one piece of steel bar with a seven millimeter hole on one he end and a five millimeter just a little bit further away from it. And what we're going to do is line up our other steel bar underneath that and use those holes as guides to drill through them so that we've got the exact same holes on the other bar. So using the pillar drill, lining them up in the machine vise, and then just as you did with the um, other one, you're going to drill into the hole and lifting it up every now and then to release the swarf. Then you should end up with two bars like this. So you've got a seven mil hole on the end and then a five sort of near the middle. Now we're going to put a screw thread on these. So you can see I'm using a cutting compound here to uh, just lubricate the tap. So this is a tap wrench, basically what you're making. Um, and I'm putting the cu cutting compound on the thread of the tap there. Okay, and we're going to use that to cut a thread into the smaller holes, so the five millimeter ones. Now, I'm going to put my hand in the middle of it and give it two full turns, okay? And then I'm going to place each hand on either side now, and I'm going to do a half turn and then a quarter turn back. So you can see I'm doing a half, one full half turn and then a quarter turn back like so. Now make sure that when you initially do your two full turns at the start that you've got your tap wrench really straight. Because if you start to go in at an angle, then you'll have messed it up. So your two full turns, make sure that you do them really, really nice and straight. Properly check that the uh, tap wrench is uh, straight. And then you're doing a half turn and then a quarter turn back. So half turn, quarter turn back. Half turn, quarter turn back. And you're going to do that until you've gone all the way through that hole. So you keep going until it's gone all the way through. So a half turn and a quarter turn back. Okay, then once you've gone all the way through, you're going to unscrew it. And then you're going to check that your wing nut screws in all the way so that the wing nut is flush with the metal bar. Okay, if it doesn't go all the way through, you're going to have to go back in with that tap again and make sure that you've threaded all the way through the bar. So it should go all the way through like that. 